Facebook ads can be very complicated and getting more complex every day. Now, if you want to run Facebook ads, yeah, a lot of people are saying that it's not effective. Now, today I'm going to show you one simple way that actually works for us, yeah, as a small business owners to use Facebook ads to bring in leads. Then we will convert them to become our customers. Now, this method is usually very good for those of you who already have your own shop, yeah, because the process that I'm going to teach you is the same like running your offline sales and marketing. You see, in an offline world, in your brick and mortar shop, right? Customers will come in, yeah? Of course, first thing you need to build your shop in a place where there's a lot of traffic. People, right? Like in a mall, okay? Then people will come in to your shop and you have to greet them and then you need to serve them to see what kind of products or services that they need, right? Then later on, you convert them to become your customers. Now, this Facebook method that I'm going to teach you will have the same process. Now, the only problem is how to bring in the people, right? Because you can't build your store in a place where there's a lot of people. In fact, internet is the place where a lot of people, but the thing is that the people can't find you. So one way to do that is to use the Facebook ads. If you do it correctly, you will see leads coming in almost like immediately. So if you want to learn step-by-step step how to do that, then watch this video till the end and I will walk you through the process. Now I'm going to take you to my computer and show you step-by-step step on how to do that. But before I go there, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. Okay, right now we are at my Facebook ads account. So all you need is just click this create button and you can see this and select messages because we're going to create an ad that goes direct to your WhatsApp. So click messages. Next, click continue. All right, so now this is very simple. This is the campaign, means that your advertising campaign name it's very simple, this is for your own use. Let's say I want to do something very simple. I just want to know this is for my pasta business. Uh, what's app? Ads, okay. Click next. Now don't worry so much on the name because this is just basically for your own reference. All right, now we come into the ad set. Ad set is where we set the account, okay, on how to run, right? So here we want to use WhatsApp. Then we unselect Messenger. Okay. Then by the way, you need a Facebook page. So all you need is to set up your Facebook page. If you're not setting up the Facebook page, then watch this video that I have yeah, to teach you how to set up your Facebook page. So once you set up a Facebook page, you can come in here because I have a lot. Then you just select. Yeah. So let's just leave it here. Okay, and then when it comes to the budget, my recommendation is you have the daily budget around 10 to 30 ringgit. That would be fine, yeah, to run and see results. So next thing is that you want to come over here. The most important thing is your locations because you are going to sell to people living four kilometers around you. So over here, click edit. And then you don't want to target whole Malaysia. I just want to search for, I live in Penang. So I just click, let's say Penang and then select Penang, Malaysia. And I want to target not all in Malaysia, not all in Penang. So let me just zoom in. And then let's say, I live in Georgetown and I want to target people around here in Georgetown. So I just select a drop pin and then pinpoint. So right now the default is it will target 10 miles. Yeah? 10 miles is a large area, right? Around 16 kilometers. So I just want to get it down to two miles, which is less than four kilometers. So right now this is the area that I target on. Okay, 
And then I have a potential reach of 190,000 people. So being that around, this is just an estimate, 190,000 people can see my ads. So these are the rest of the setting, just leave it, okay? And then what you need, click next. So this is where we were gonna create your advertising, yeah? your photos and your copy so that people can see. So remember the photos that we download from Canva, just scroll down, we're gonna take this single image and come to Ads Creative here. All you need is that Add Media, select the media. Now, by the way, I already upload the photos. If not, just click Upload here and then upload your photos. Okay, so is this home cooked pasta photos? But I already upload earlier so that save time. Click here and then select next. Now you can see the photos. Okay, so all the photos here, then click done. Okay, and then what you're going to do is that you're going to type in this primary text and the headline. Let's change on the headline. Right. Let me show you the headline will be here. Chat on the WhatsApp. The primary text will come up on top of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in here headline home cook spaghetti. Pre delivery. Now I'm just showing you, if you don't offer free delivery, don't please don't write free delivery, okay? So then here in the primary text, do some description, right? Do some selling, okay? Delicious pasta directly deliver to your home, okay? Then do some description of your product, right? How good it is, what ingredients you use, blah, 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 all this stuff, okay? So that people can know, right? Do some selling over here. So once this is done, basically what you do is click publish and then your ads is done, meaning that people around like 190,000 people living around the Georgetown, your targeted area, will see your ads. Now, I hope this step-by-step -step will teach you and show you how to do that so all you need to do is that watch this video over and over again and follow it step by steps. And then you should be able to run your Facebook ads. Now that's how I learned when I first started off. Now, once you have leads coming in, right? So the process is the same like offline, yeah? Once it coming in, means that it goes to either your WhatsApp, your Messenger, then you will serve them, right? Like your offline shop, yeah? show them what kind of products or services that you have. Of course, in an online world, packages nicely in a nice brochures or PDF so that people can see, yeah? Something easier for them to see and bear in mind because a lot of them are actually using mobile to chat with you or to talk with you, yeah? Now, of course, if you have a website, then that it will be even better because it will bring up your reputation, your branding, and it's also easy for them to go through your product and services through your website. Now, after you serve them, not everyone will buy, so you need to follow up with them till they become your customers. So you can use like WhatsApp Messenger to follow up or even emails to follow up with them. So that's how you use Facebook or other social media to actually bring in leads and then convert them into the customers. Now, the beauty is that today, this is better than offline because offline people walk into your shop and if they see the things and they don't buy, you can't follow up with them. But in an online world, you can actually follow up with them because you got their messenger or their WhatsApp or their emails so that you can continue to follow up with them. So I hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, we publish business tips every week. So just click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish, you'll be notified. And meanwhile, here's some video that we've done before that can help you grow your business online. And this is Andrew. I'll see you real soon in my next video.